the Skoda Tour of Luxembourg, the second stage, and the weather just turning against the race, but it did not make it any less enthralling. Plenty of climbs along the way, and a good distance as well of 186 kilometers. The rain did not dampen the enthusiasm of a breakaway, and it had to include those battling for the King of the Mountains jersey, Kenny Molly, and indeed Sebastian Schoenberger. They were both up front. Of course, the threat on the day was the final test, the Côte de Eschdorf, with ramps of around 12 and 13%. It was going to be a nightmare. Well, Schoenberger and Molly did duke it out for the King of the Mountains points throughout the day. Molly taking a hatful of them, 19 points in fact, added to the 10 he'd got on the opening day. The chase was being engaged by Francis de Jure. De Koenig did their share as well as UAE and indeed Team Arkea. But really that gap of four minutes was never going to last and so it was with just around 36 kilometres to go that the breakaway was all bar extinguished. Last man standing from it, Kamil Gradek, the Pole, former Polish time trial champion. He going the same way as Adam De Vos, Molly and Schoenberger. How would it pan out then? There was always going to be somebody that would go for a long ranger. And that's precisely what we had. Well, Anthony Turgis decided to strike out. Hopefully, I think the team were designing Pierre Roger Latour to go for it at the very last. Well, Turgis himself is no bad rider, and in fact, he was going quicker than the camera bike, asking it to get out of there. 10.5 kilometers from home, he had an advantage of around about 30 seconds. But would that be enough with those pesky inclines still to be dealt with? UAE offering up some assistance to the pace. In fact, uh, it was a Yuzo that came through to help out Mark Hershey. He wearing the young rider's jersey, and Turgis was about to be tagged. Looking behind, as you possibly just noticed, Hershey was keeping an eye on those who were around him, and one of those was Nero Quintana. Well, ramps like we have to face here and had to do so on three occasions never used to be a problem for Nero Quintana, but what about this day? In the end, we had four riders that pushed off. It was uh, three suddenly. Formolo looking like he was rolling just a, a little bit on behalf of Mark Hershey, who looked very, very sprightly, and Hershey went on the attack. The front wheel of Quintana had started to weave just a little bit. It was the perfect opportunity as he looked back to see where the yellow jersey of Juan Pedro Almeida was. Well, he was struggling, just like everybody else, it seemed. Almeida had used up all of his teammates and had no option other than to set off in pursuit. Thibaut Pinot was also amongst the chase. Hershey, though, had he timed it to perfection? Just coming up to the Flamme Rouge, meaning that the road flattened out ever so slightly for the Swiss. And he turned the young rider's jersey into yellow. Striking gold on a day of rainbows, with the sun and the rain playing its part. Pushing home for the line and finishing second on the day, Almeida factoring in some bonus seconds. It meant that the lead of Hershey, who takes control of the race, is a modest four seconds ahead of Almeida. Nonetheless, job well done for Hershey after the opening stage where he nearly got clattered into the barriers. He came good today and with victory takes the lead of the race. Hershey, Almeida, Godo Formolo and De La Cruz, your top five as they came in today. Well, some big gaps because of those inclines and there'll be a few more gaps tomorrow, you can be absolutely sure. They say it's for the quick men, but Hershey's no slouch. He leads this race by four seconds. You never know, he could get a very good finish tomorrow as well.